Hi, it's Russ from Prodos Expert. And I want to show you some cool tips and tricks that you may not be aware of within Transfuser. And the first one I want to show you is with the default drums. And it's something that I found out as I've been using it that can be slightly irritating if you don't know how to deal with it. So what you do is you'll see here you have all the folders of loops and down here's all, all your default applications that work within Transfuser, like chords and uh, synths and stuff. And the one's called default drums. And that gives you a drum sequencer and a drum pad type where you put all your samples and stuff. So to add samples in, what I'll do first is I'm going to just go into the drum sequencer and create a quick part so as I'm auditioning I can hear it. Now I'm going to show you the second tip before I finish showing you the first one, it's this. If you want to quickly create a beat, if you come and click on each thing and you go to edit, you can go create within one, two, three, four, and just put four on the floor straight away. And then we can go to snare, we can go edit, uh, create rhythmic two and four, and let's put the two snares in. I'm going to go to edit, create rhythmic eighth so I've got my hi-hats in so I've now got a four on the floor with eighth hi-hats going already before I've even got any sounds in so we can start to play that for auditioning purposes and you can see it's now playing those pads but obviously there's no sounds in them so I'm going to go to audio and I'm going to go to one of my default saved places and there is all my drum stuff I've got all my drum libraries there and I can start to bring all my drums in so I'm going to go to let's say Elise's SR16 now you can then audition these before you put them in now the problem with it is this, is as you see, as I'm just playing that, let me just turn it up a bit for you. As I'm clicking on them, they're taking a bit of time to audition. That's because it's working synced. And if you turn the sync off, then you'll get instant auditioning. You can go through the arrow keys as well. So I'll pick that one up and I just drag and drop that in. So I've now got my kick drum going, go down a bit more. And the volume up a bit more if I want to audition louder. Pick the snare up. Go back up now, go up to another folder. And I'm going to find a 808, there we go. Also, I can search in here. Of course, also then I can, as you can see, some of them quite loud. So that's a quick way of auditioning. So there's two tips already. The first one is about auditioning drums. Make sure you've got the sync switched off, otherwise it won't play very quickly. The second one, of course, was using the the ability in the edit there to build rhythms very quickly. So those are the first two tips. Now the second one is about uh, dragging and dropping. What a, pe a lot of people do not appreciate with Transfuser, it's all about dragging and dropping. That's the quickest way to do stuff. So for example, if I've got drums in here, I drag that in, that's the drum sequence and that's the drums. But the great thing is I can then pick up the drums. If I play that, and drag those sounds in, so those sounds are now playing that sequence, same sequence, different sounds. Pick another one up. So that's worth knowing about. Now here's the cool thing as well. Let's say I've got that going now. And I've got, for example, some percussion going as well. I like that. So we've got the claves in. And I like that spring reverb. If I press the Alt key, I can just drag that spring reverb to there. So dragging and dropping is a really very fast way of moving stuff around in Transfuser. So the next tip I'd like to show you, let's just kill those again, is to use presets. Now presets mean that you can get an entire whole rig in here very quickly. So you go to the preset browser and very quickly you can bring one in, let's say for example that one, and now I've got an entire. How funky is that? Put another one in. Now there's. Now let me go back to that uh, brassy house again for a second. Now you see it's taken up the whole screen. Now another cool thing is that you can actually collapse these 
But what you can do if you press the Alt key and collapse them, they all collapse together very quickly. So you can see you can have a really huge rig going on there within Transfuser. Now, the next tip I'd like to show you, so that's about using presets, but I want to show you another tri tri trick with, get my teeth in, uh, with all the excitement. Uh, with that is, let me just open those back up again. And let's close all of those down. And I'm just going to default for a second. Is that I use Transfuser as a plugin as well, not just as an instrument. And I've shown that in other videos before. So on the master section here, I've got a plugin going. Uh, so if I just get something like easy going, click that and get that in. So I've got Transfuser here as a plugin. It's got pumper and tube drive on it. Now what I can do as well then, of course, is I can create presets, as like plug-in presets. So instead of having tube drive there, I could say, okay, I'd like to have in there parametric EQ. Turn the pumper down a bit. Go to parametric EQ. So I like that, that's working for me. So now I come into Transfuser and I go save preset. I'm gonna call that uh, Master Bus Shine and save that. Now if you look at my presets now in the user, I've got Master Bus Shine and Master Bus Pump. And very quickly I can insert this as a plugin and don't forget the great thing of course now with Transfuser as well is you can make that really small and have that just as a plug-in window like that. Now I'm a master bus and then I've got e effects I can just switch between very quickly. So if I play this now, uh, play that again. There's the pumper one. Our master bus shine again. So I create a whole set of effects in my presets for using this as an effect plugin. And that's very useful, especially when you start exploring some of the really cool effects that are built into transfusers, such as the stutter effects and stuff like that. So there we go. There's some tips and tricks, about five of them for using Transfuser 2. Hope that helps. Have fun with it. I think it's a powerful, powerful plugin and well worth having in your plugin arsenal. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.